Let's make a cross stitch rainbow heart badge. To make this project, you'll need some coloured threads, plastic canvas, a needle, and a badge backing. You'll also need some sharp scissors and some strong glue. I'm using E6000 glue. To start off with, you'll need to separate two threads from your strands. Each skein of thread comes in six strands, so you'll need to separate out two each time you go to stitch. Thread your needle with the two strands and don't tie a knot in the end. Now find the centre of your plastic canvas and poke a hole in the middle coming up from the back. Pull your needle through leaving about one inch of thread at the back of your plastic. This is called the tail of your thread. Because we haven't tied a knot we'll be catching it as we start our stitches. For my first stitch I've gone diagonally and down to the right. This is half of my cross. When I come back to the back I'm going directly up to catch the tail of my thread. Flipping over to the front again, I'm going again stitching down and to the right. As I continue stitching, I'm making sure that I'm catching the tail at the back and continuing in the same direction with each of my half stitches. I'll keep going with my row of half stitches all the way until I get to the end of the pattern for the green. Now that I've come to the end of my row of green, I'm going to come back and cross my stitches. I've come up from the back and I'm stitching diagonally and down to the left to make my cross. I'll continue doing that all the way along until I get back to the middle. Now that I've reached my starting point, I'll again finish the rest of the row with half crosses before coming back and completing the cross. I've now finished one row of green stitches, so I'm going to snip off the excess thread so that it's not in my way. I'll continue stitching with the next row of green and make my next line. When I've finished stitching with one colour, I'll pass my needle through the back of my thread so that it's secure. This is a little bit tricky to do on plastic canvas, so you may need some patience for this bit. Catch the stitches as securely as you can and then snip off the excess. Keep going with the rest of your rainbow colours, remembering to separate out two threads from each skein at a time. Make sure you also catch the tail of your thread each time you start a new colour. When you finish stitching all of your colours, secure the thread at the back of your project and snip off the excess. Tidy up the threads at the back if you need to. Now you're ready to cut your badge out from the plastic canvas. Cut carefully around the edge, leaving about one square of plastic 
on each side. Take care that you don't snip your threads. Make sure you're using sharp scissors as well as this will help. The final step of your project is to glue on your badge backing. Make sure your badge is up the right way and then put your glue onto the metal or directly onto your badge. Press down firmly to secure the badge backing to your project. I found that with mine, the glue squished through the holes, so you can tidy that up if you need to. I've used the excess glue to squish down onto some of my loose threads. This will help to keep them secure. Now you have your very own cross stitch rainbow heart badge. Wear it with pride and tag us at Curtain Makers to share your project.